السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا الله مدد يا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان the day of Eid in Islam. We know this point. Muslim has every week Eid. This Eid is on a Friday. And why we get this day of Eid? I heard this idea from parents many, many times when they said, Sheikh, our children, when they go to English school, they found that English people or other religion, they have many Eids at their calendar. But in Islam, we have just two days, Eid al-Futr and Eid al-Adha. But 
But in reality, respect the brothers. No any religion has a days of Eid similar Islam. In Islam, you can get every day Eid. How this happened? Do you know you can't get every day Eid? When you wake up before Fajr and you pray two rak'ah and you do istighfar, this is amazing time and better than Eid. When, let us ask ourselves this question. When the Eid comes in Islam, Eid al-Fitr comes after after Ramadan. So after good worship, Allah gives us with Eid, isn't it? Eid al-Adha comes after Hajj. After this pilgrimage, you get this Eid. After worship as well. And every Friday we have Eid. Why? Because we have this amazing gathering Friday prayer. And when you get before Fajr to do this amazing worship, in reality, this is the best time and this is the real Eid in your own life. For that focus, if people ask <coughs> Big Scala, but he used to teach his student with joke. Always, when he wants to teach his student, he gave them like a joke or like something funny to make them laugh and to pass his idea to those people. So those people ask this sheikh, they said, sheikh, when the day of resurrection will come or when the qiyamah, qiyamah, resurrection, when this qiyamah will be? He said, which qiyamah do you want? my own Qiyamah or the general Qiyamah. People like, majority people who hear my speech on the YouTube, they will say, oh, this Sheikh said there is many Eid. So the people said, yeah, Sheikh, are they more than one Qiyamah? He said, yes. There is your own Qiyamah when the death come to you, this is your Qiyamah. Does that make sense? And there is the general Qiyamah when the day of judgment and all this world or universe will be destroyed. So we have small Qiyamah and big Qiyamah. We have my own Eid and the general Eid. Respect to the brothers, quick question. Which situation better? A person who wake up before Fajr, Allahumma lak alhamd, Allahumma lak alhamd, astaghfirullah wa atubu A person who wake up before Fajr to do amazing contact between his heart, his soul, with his Lord, and this happened in normal day. And a person who attend the time of Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Fitr, but he does bad actions, bad manners among this time. Which better? So the Eid will come to us according to our, our actions, isn't it? Please, do you understand this point? So now, if I say today is a Friday and we have Friday gathering, and a person who didn't pray Fajr, a person who didn't get shower on this day, a person who didn't recite Surah Al-Kahf today morning, a person who didn't praise for the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and he came just last 10 minutes to attend, maybe less than 10 minutes, just to attend the Friday prayer and run quickly away to catch his food or his work. Did this aid for him? Seriously, brothers. We say, inshallah, Allah accept him. But in our mentality, we say no. 
in that similar, Allah says in Quran, قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِي الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ وَالْيَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Are those who have proper knowledge similar those who don't have knowledge? No, it's not similar. Does that make sense? أَفَنَجْعَلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ كَالْمُجْرِمِينَ Those real Muslims, similar those are who are guilty? No, not similar. So this is what we should learn, respected brothers. A person who wake up before Fajr, pray tahajjud, did istighfar, praise the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu special dua for his parents, his family. He prayed Fajr with Jama'ah on a Friday. Fajr Friday, brothers, authentic hadith. The best prayer among our prayers is the prayer of Fajr on a Friday. This is the best. Anyone attend this prayer, Allah will forgive all his sins. He prayed the Fajr prayer. After Fajr prayer, we said, Alhamdulillah, here. About one hour for the brothers to recite some verses from Surah Al-Kahf. And we get knowledge about 8.30. And this optional. If you are busy, recite and go just to get the reward. And we finish pray sunnah al duha. What is the reward if a person attend Fajr with Jama'ah and after this congregation prayer he said to do dhikr or recite Quran and when the sun rise he prayed two rak'ah. What is the reward brothers? Do you know? Any person will do like this will get the reward of Hajj and Umrah. <laughs> This authentic hadith. Any person attend Fajr prayer with Jama'ah and he sit on his place to learn, to recite Quran, to do dhikr, and after the sunrise, till the sunrise, after that he prayed two rak'ah, Sunnah al Ishraq, Sunnah al Duha, will get the reward exactly as the one who spent how much for Hajj Sheikh? 10,000 10, pound now with vaccine, with the traveling, with the I don't know this and that, and the weather very hot, Sheikh Day. And with this amazing situation, you will get the reward not just Hajj and Umrah, and 100% acceptable. Brothers, all of these actions make our life with Eid. When the student of Big Sheikh asked him, they said, Sheikh, how old are you? Listen, he said, in reality, my age, my age, 22 years. They look at his face. His face look like 70, 80 years old. They said, Sheikh, seriously. He said, I know my life when I learn my religion and when I know my God and when my soul contact with the soul of Rasulullah. On that time, my life started. Now, do we have Eid today, brothers? Yes. Wallahi, brothers. Again and again. We have in our, not hand, in our heart, our soul, the greatest diamond in the world. But we don't know, and we don't know the value of this diamond, and we think, ah, Sheikh, Wallahi, my children, it's like to pray, they found the prayer is really hard. Sheikh, my children dislike to pray Sunan because they found this Sunan, it's too long. Sheikh, Sheikh, this is my subject today. When we understand that the definition of Islam, what is the definition of Islam? No. Do you know, brother, seriously? Anyone has an idea, please, if you have idea, please share with me, seriously. What is the definition of Islam? One who submits to Allah. Well, 
You know, for some people submit to Allah with sins. Does that make sense? With, with love. So keep this point in your head. Definition of Islam, Islam is the religion of real love, not fake. Not fake. Real love. What does mean share fake and real love? Real love when you see this religion, this love with his actions, his manners. When all people on the wrong way, he tried the best or she tried the best to be on the right way. When all people get bad manners, you find them, those people who are real Muslim, with best manners. <coughs> Respected brothers, we recite every Mawlid, every Friday, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was walking with Sayyidina Aisha when they passed in front of Jewish group and those Jewish group said, Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah, that means death upon you, O Muhammad, death upon you. Instead of to say, Assalam, Peace be upon you. They said, Assam. Assam? This is what I said sometimes to brothers when you recite Quran. If you change one letter, you get to wrong meaning. Instead of Salam, said, Assam. The Prophet Muhammad, even some people, they say, Wa alaykum. There is no wow. There is no wow. Just says, he said, Alaykum. Because Wa alaykum, that means this upon us and you. This is not right. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Alaykum, this upon you. Sayyidina Aisha, an intelligent lady, she recognized, she starts swearing at them. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ma, Ma Aisha, oh stop, stop. She said, Ya Rasulullah, did you hear what they said? He said, yes, and did you hear what I said? She said, Ya Rabbi, she said, Oh, this is Wallahi Islam. This is the definition of Islam. He said, Oh, Aisha, never ever don't go with this way to keep your tongue with bad words. The tongue of Muslim, brothers, sisters, young, old, the tongue of Muslim always with nice words. الكريمة الطيبة صدقة صدقة The tongue of Muslim Sayyidina Isa passed with his friend around the dead body of dog and what happened with this dead body get affected with the germs with the bacteria and bad smell bad sight all the, his friends start say something. Look at this Sayyidina Isa. He said, Did you see his teeth very, very clean? His friend said, Ya Rasulullah, look at this shape. He said, I would like to keep my tongue with nice words. Brothers, this is Islam. This is the real Muslim. This is the definition of Islam. One of the definition of the definition of Islam is Islam, the religion of love. What we know about love, we know one kind of love. Tell you, the love between boyfriend. Um, I mean this word, boyfriend, girlfriend, and this what they pass to us. In the movies, in the social media, on the YouTube, what they show us, the love is between boy and girl, and he spent for her life everything, and this, wallahi, all of this fake and shaitan love. The real love, listen what Allah says in Quran. Allah says, Yuhibbuhum, Allah loves them, those real Muslim. And they love Allah. This is real love. If you don't have this love, brothers, trust me, you don't have anything. Listen to this authentic hadith in Bukhari. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Man lam yakun, if the love of Allah and his beloved, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu will not be number one in your heart, 
you are not a real Muslim. You don't get this real faith. لا يؤمن أحدكم will not be a real believer until you make the love of Allah and the love of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم number one in your heart. Better than myself, yes. Better than my parents, yes. Do we have this love? Yes, we have. Let us try this example happen between student and his sheikh. One day a student said to his sheikh, Sheikh, Wallahi, you have big amount. You love in my heart. We cannot imagine. He said to his student, Are you sure? He said, Yes. Sheikh, I see you. You are number one in the world. Sheikh, this and that. This sheikh said, my son, relax. Keep this love for Allah and the Prophet Muhammad This is student and we have some time, those followers. We have those followers. They come to sheikh as a, on behalf of shaitan. That student said to his sheikh, sheikh, I see you, you are the messenger of Allah. That sheikh said, my son, wait, wait. Let us sleep today and we will talk tomorrow. Some students, they come to sheikh or they sit with people, they say, our sheikh did this and that. Our sheikh has this miracle. Our sheikh, wallahi, wallahi better than all of this. If you say my sheikh has good manners, my Sheikh teach me Quran perfectly. This is greater than all the miracles in the world. Do you understand this point? And this is the way of Rasulullah. This Sheikh was sleeping before Fajr, this night really cold night. Before Fajr, a person who used to do Adhan, wake up before Fajr to do Tadkir. We say Tadkir to remind people, oh brothers, if you can wake up to pray Tahajjud, oh brother, you do Tadkir. This in Arabic country. That Sheikh wake up his student. He said, my son, wake up, wake up. He said, Sheikh, what do you want? It's too early. He said, my son, can you please prepare hot water for me because I need to do shower? Say, Sheikh, now? <laughs> now? Just delay one hour. I will do it after one hour. This Sheikh said to this best student, said, you see what is the difference between me and the Prophet? And what is the difference between you and that person? Who has real love will wake up before Fajr with this cold weather to remind people for the sake of Allah. And who has fake love will delay. Go to pray to her. Yes, yes, I will do it after a few minutes. Now, after this much, after this, after this. This is the fake love. But real love, the time come, I will prepare myself for prayer. The Sahaba used to sit 30 minutes, one hour before the prayer, waiting the prayer with the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. When the Prophet Muhammad saw that, he said, your time in the masjid, when you wait the prayer, exactly as a one who does the prayer. I wait 30 minutes before the prayer. <coughs> to pray with jama'ah, this 30 minutes, you will get the reward as a one who pray 30 minutes. This is our religion, respected brothers. Islam, in reality, is the religion of love. Love between you and your son, not because he is my son. You will get in the future big effect from this side. How many people among us now? Sheikh, wallahi, he was amazing. Sheikh, he was very, very good boy. Sheikh, he was always in masjid. Now he's on the wrong way. Because the relation was not for the sake of Allah. And this love, not real love. Same, Sheikh, my lady, she was good, she was this and that. 
because we don't practice the real love. Real love in Islam when our relation for the sake of Allah. How can I get this between me and my children? When I teach them Islam on a proper way, not Islam in our traditional focus, brothers. I will not teach them the Islam according to our traditional. I will teach them Islam according to the Sunnah of Rasulullah. I will teach them Quran according to the proper recitation of Quran. This is what we need, brothers. Islam. What is the definition of Islam? Islam, the religion of knowledge. Listen. Authentic hadith. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, My nation, the nation of Rasulullah, two kinds of people. I think this hundred times I repeat this hadith here. And I see the brothers... Brothers here, just about 50 brothers, 60 brothers, please, who has class of Quran, raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Class of Fiqh. Those, my brothers attend with us, alhamdulillah. Class of Hadith. Look at us. Class of Aqeedah. Do you see, brothers? Listen, what is the definition of Islam? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, why I share this with you? Wallahi, to correct our way. The Prophet said, my nation is two kinds of people. Two kinds of people, those are my nation. Who are those, Ya Rasulullah? Either you should be student or scholar. Teacher, or student, no third kind. If you are teacher, Bismillah, come and teach. If you are not teacher, you must to be you must to be student. Otherwise, no option to say on the day of judgment, are you Muslim? Yes. What is your knowledge? Are you educated? Oh, uh, no. I don't have, Ya Allah, I have eight hours work. I have eight hours sleeping. I have three hours with social media. I have about one hour in toilet. Morning, midday, evening. I have two hours eating and two hours with communication with or communicating with other people. Okay, what about your religion? I learned that from my friend. Uh, Sometimes I get some video on the WhatsApp, fake hadith I learned from the WhatsApp as well. Is this the proper Muslim brothers? So please, me and you will not be as a loser on the day of judgment, brother. Let us practice Islam perfectly. Islam, the religion of knowledge. Islam, religion of love. Islam. Religion of manners, Islam. Islam, all of this, the definition of Islam. Islam, religion, religion of a strong faith. When I believe no God but Allah. This not just no God but Allah. That means no benefit will come to me without Allah's permission. No any harm, no any trouble will come to me without Allah's permission. So that means if anything happen, happen with Allah's permission. But if the trouble come, you have to ask yourself, either you have strong faith, and Allah will give you a big test according to your faith, or you are on the wrong way, and Allah wants you to correct this way. There is no more than this. Two options. Strong faith, big test, or you are on the wrong way, this message from Allah to correct your way. May Allah protect all of us and keep all of us on the right path. Allahumma alimna ma alimna wa fa'na lima alimtana wa zidna ilma wa amla al-mutaqabbal ya arham al-rahimin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Next week, what time? 12.50 giving me speech. 1 o'clock is Arabic. So inshallah, 12.15 Next week we'll start 12.15, brothers. Try to count. 
after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, to get some, some ideas about your religion, inshallah. So 12.15 will start our English speech, and Arabic speech will be, inshallah, at 1 p.m. And inshallah, we'll try to finish after maximum 15 minutes, inshallah. Allah bless all of you and keep all of us on the right path. Amen. Next Friday we have one hour before Fajr. That means, inshallah, we will start at 5. What time Fajr? Jama'at. Fajr start. So, inshallah. No, no, for the start, 5 5.30. 5.30. 5 30. That means 4 30, inshallah, will be here to do dhikr and do dua. Who wants something from Allah? Who has some duas? Come and ask Allah together. May Allah accept all of us and keep all of us on the right path. Perform your sunnah and we will carry on after that. Jazakum Allah.